Hello there and welcome back to another episode. So in this one, what are we going to do? There's quite a few things actually that I, that I would like to do. So first of all, if we go over here, actually we don't have to pause the game. So we uh, spoke in the last episode that we will fix up this reservoir or the lake over here. And uh, that's definitely what we can do in this episode. I mean, it's, uh, it's not really a big priority. I mean, everything is still functional, so it, it's good. It's fine. Secondly, we do want to connect the power in there and have the mouth path running as well. And that should be pretty easy. I've already put in a couple of um, cables here as well so they can uh, get started whilst we go through what we are trying to achieve in this episode. And uh, yeah, I've been slowly trying to figure out, I mean, this drought that we had was 28 days. So yeah, actually, not just a little bit. In the past 20 days, I've been looking throughout our colony, what can we do and just doing like little small fixes here and there that otherwise wouldn't be very interesting too much so okay so over here we do want to start the or kickstart the restaurant for uh, for our beavers as well so what i was thinking we could do the production mode towards the back over here uh, or maybe in the middle storage is at the back actually and then uh, the, the restaurants themselves can be somewhere here i suppose and i think the end goal which we I don't think we're going to achieve in this episode, but I'd like to have another train that runs through here, maybe around this hill, drops off the resources, turns around and then goes back as well. And um, yeah, over here I've started to clean up some of the bumps as well, because yeah, we don't really need them. All right, now, so that's this section over here. Um, what we did in the last episode was this lake, and yeah, that's been holding up pretty, pretty nicely actually. And what I'd like to start doing in this episode is expanding this lake. So yeah, let's raise the walls just a little bit. I mean, with the... what was it called again? The terraforming station. We don't have one in here. So we can't use the, the rain blocks just yet. But, you know, levies will have to do. That's fine. Uh, right, now another one that we did want to do. We wanted to keep a bit more water in here. So yeah, it's pretty simple. We'll just bring the roads over and place a dam. Of course, we would love to build it at the edge of the map over there, but I don't think we have the range. So yeah, right now what they are doing, we've got the ladders already in place. I don't think it's the case for the other side. No, they're still doing it. Okay. And then the ultimate goal is to have this bridge over here. Now, out of all those things that we've just spoke about, I think this section here is the least likely to be finished in this episode. And that's purely because we only have like... Oh, you're empty. Okay, only three builders left. Do we have any spare columns? No. Okay, so that's not good. Uh, what I have already done is open up a, another assembler over here. Now, do we have enough power? Well, it seems we do. So why don't we open one more? Oh, hold on a second. Okay, they are all empty. Why don't we grab a few bots from here? Okay, yeah, let's uh, leave four of them running for now. And hopefully we can have a couple more bots as well. And yeah, this zone here as well. I've done a bit of uh, decorating around the area just so it looks a bit more full, I suppose, and busy. And uh, yeah, logs are starting to look better. I think what we can also do, since this is a separate district, I would like to move it up here. And that's a... Uh, Pretty juicy location, it seems. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be constructing a lot over here. And even if we move it over on top of the hill, I believe we still have a bit of uh, range and access over here. So we should be fine. Okay, so let's skip the night and then we will start with the restaurants. Okay, so there we go. What I have done uh, off camera is I've changed around the cables a little bit before we had them running through here. So I thought, well, yeah, it's, uh, I kind of wanted to tidy up a little bit. And uh, so I placed these cables here instead. And they'll connect up uh, right over there. But uh, now that I remembered, or just before when I rem remembered that we are going to need those mod paths operational as well, I didn't want to bring those cables through the garden over here. So yeah, we kind of have to rebuild at least a small section of it. But that's okay. So yeah, everything's going to take a little bit of time in here now the question is can we oh okay we don't have enough columns i see can we reduce the amount perhaps in district 13 
Okay, let's jump over. Which one are you? Okay, so you're up here, and I think, yeah, everything's good. Okay, so let's start with the restaurants. We've got two more days until the drought starts. Let's have a look. Backing plant, and you're over here. Actually, one of the restaurants, not the restaurant, the uh, production here, where we cook up all the food, will have to be connected this way, because that's where the power is going through as well. I don't think we will be running it through all the way. So why don't we place you... I think here is fine, up until here. Okay, we can pause this one if we want to. And now when it comes to the power, let's grab this one. Actually, yeah, we don't even need to pause it. We can build it right on top. Okay, so here we go. You're gonna go... I mean, we could place you on top. But then... That's not very ideal, is it? This seems to be a little bit better, so we could use one of those side platforms. Let's pick a slightly smaller one. I don't think we need the big one. Okay, so there we go. You go there. And our first packing plant shall be built just like so. Okay, so with the metal blocks, gears and other resources, we should be fine. And uh, we'll unlock... Yeah, we do have the science. So I think one of the episodes before, I did say that let's not do the the recipe that says package food all. What we'll do instead is let's start with the basics first. All right, there we go. And I think we do need a few more roads over here. Okay. Oh, another one can go right next to it. So that's going to pass the power through. That's good. Now, these are slightly larger building, it seems. So what I wonder is if we pause you for a second... Does it pass power through from the top as well? No, you don't. Maybe it's just the front. Let's uh, quickly test it out. Okay, they can't go all the way there. Uh, just in case we'll pause you as well. Let's have a look. Oh no, that's the same level, isn't it? Yep, of course it is. Okay, so let's grab another one from here. Pause you for a second. And let's have a look. Okay, so from the sides, you do. Okay, so that's very good to know. Yep, 100%. So we can do maybe... <laughs> let's have a look. Maybe something like this. Okay, one over here. Right, right, right. And back to the power. Wait a second. So from here, you don't pass the power through. Well, that's very interesting, isn't it? Okay, well, what about... Hmm... Let's have a look. Maybe somewhere here. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that seems to be fine. So that's good. You can go all the way here. Beautiful. We only need about three. So I don't think we have to cram them so close together. But I mean, hmm, we are going to have a few storages here as well. So let's uh, take a look. You can go this way, perhaps. We're blocking ourselves a little bit. No, we can do a big storage over here. Okay, and with you, if we wanted to spice it up a little bit. I don't know if it passes power through from behind, though. No, that's not the case, it seems. Okay, right. So you are going to have to go next to it, but I would still like to have the road somewhere in the middle. And I mean, this would look pretty decent. I mean, we could also do it this way. Okay. There we go. And... Right, let's flip you around. Or maybe we'll bring it further so the road can go behind here as well. Might be a little bit better. Okay, yep, here you go. Well, we'll start with the, this one first. I don't think we have to build everything. Right, and uh, we also have quite a few construction uh, projects in the queue here as well so it's going to take a very long time for them to finish everything in here unless we get some more beavers of course and uh well bots as well i think i know how we can speed this up a little bit so with the dirt we should have enough in the storage right now okay 110 that should be more than enough so why don't we build a couple more of these lovely builder huts over here i mean drought starts in about a day so perhaps they will not complain about the flooding over here. Right, so one can go there and everything else. It's a bit of a squeeze, it seems. Okay, do we have any other areas? I mean, I guess we could do it here. 
Uh, yep, I think that's what we are going to do. So detonate this section as well. We shall give you stairs. All right, there we go. And everything else is set up. Okay, beautiful. Why don't you construct these ones first? All right, there you go. Highest priority. And uh, with the terraforming over here, well, there's still quite a few blocks left. So why don't we leave them for now? Okay, and everything else... Okay, yep, let's uh, jump to our next location. And I think right now... Hmm, how many builds do you have? Right, so we might be short over here as well. And all of these ones, well, it seems we're either paused or they're not working at all. Okay, so what we can also do, since we do have a quite a few trees already growing, I don't think we need to import any logs. So we shall remove that and uh, all right, so let's uh, start constructing this area up a little bit. Right, so the dam needs to be moved just a tiny bit. You can go here. This way we'll do the sides as well, connect it up and over here. How many dams do we have? Okay, dams go here and levees. A couple over here as well. Okay, so that's good. Now on this side, I'm actually pretty glad they haven't planted the uh, trees over there. I don't think we want to climb down just yet, so let's leave you as well. So this one over here seems to be a slightly larger corner. Okay, here we go. That should be fine. And now we are all connected up. Oh, wait a second. Do have quite a few trees in here as well. All right, if I remember correctly, this might be the better section to remove. And then, uh, hold on a second. Now let's leave those trees because we do want to maximize our tree farm over here. I mean, it might not be necessary, but yeah, let's do it this way instead. Okay, so that's good. And um, yeah, this probably won't be done. I mean... We've got the locations down where we want the levees. But uh, we are going to need to bring in some more bots from somewhere. Okay, where can we steal a few? Is anyone resting over here? No, they're quite busy and it's quite useful as well. Right, passing or sending gears. I think we can pause you for the, for the time being. And yeah, we do have enough gears, so that's fine. Okay. We'll leave you at that. Now, do we have any construction beavers here that we do not need? Yeah, I think we're not really building anything here. And uh, one of these should be enough. So let's pause you as well. If we pause this one, let's have a look. We've got a couple of spare beavers. So we can bring this number down. Right now we have 47. I think 45 is, is more than enough, isn't it? Okay, so this one's done, but it seems they have jumped somewhere else. Okay, it is not here. Uh, what about you guys? You are still looking for one more. Hmm. And you seem to be fine as well. Actually, do you know what? We have a lot of logs in here. Do we have any spare beavers? No, we do not. Hmm. Okay, food is fine. Water seems to be okay as well. Why don't we expand the beaver population just a little bit? Just a tiny bit. Okay. Uh, no, never mind. I don't think we need that. No, we have enough construction huts over here. So we pause one of them. We now have a few beavers which we can send to work over here instead. Alright, one of the middle ones. And there you go. So a couple of spare pots again. And we'll ship you over as well. Okay, 27. Let's change you. Well, 27 is quite a lot, actually. What else are you guys doing? Okay, one construction hut can stay. Yep, okay, I see. There's quite a few things over here. All right, let's have a look over here as well real quick. How is everything going? Hmm. Well, at least we have cleared all the ruins. Yep, we can remove all that. Here we go. And now we're just going to fill it up a little bit. Alright, lovely. I mean, what could also be cool is if we have like a central courtyard over here with a bit of a pool in the middle. Alright, so the drought has started it seems. And uh, 19 days. Okay, so that's going to be a quick one. 
we have already completed the builder huts as well two of them are full oh actually never mind only one of them is the spare one oh wait a second you were empty before weren't you yes you were okay so we'll pause this one for the time being you still have a little bit of dirt left and i think they might be able to finish the couple of them not everything but that's okay we've got slightly bigger plans over here it seems so one of those bridges you are moving metal blocks onto that side what about you okay you've got everything except the logs well that's all right what about this section over here i would actually like to start getting some food already now when it comes to resources and bringing everything here we did say we do want this drain but it's quite a quite a large project that we have to do because yeah everything here as well might have to change just a little bit uh, if we want to bring some additional train tracks through this area yeah that's what i'm thinking and once we do clear up this zone a little bit more as well i'd like to level this area a little bit and maybe get the spatter dog out from this area so we could turn this into a drain yard instead that picks up the resources takes them to the restaurant and then the spatter dog could actually go around this zone here because yeah, everything that we do have uh, such as the uh, deep water pumps roads and everything we, we don't really need to go here yeah okay so let's uh, leave you at that for the time being and uh, what is going on here all right so we are constructing this section give you a slightly high priority okay there you go uh actually never mind you're not really needed are you no here we go so that's done just need the platform you've got the resources and then the backing plant will be ready yeah we're definitely gonna need some more bots I mean, we do have four assemblers running, wasn't it? Let's have a quick look over here as well. There we go. Yep, four of them are running. Plenty of spare bots. So it's really just how quickly can they put those bots together. Now the lake project over here. A few levees are already in, which is way quicker than I thought it's going to be. All right, so they cannot really construct everything in here. Why don't we give them... A uh, bit of a staircase here as well. Alright, here we go. So the rest of it, yeah, I think we can leave these guys for a little while. Uh, you're not quite in the range, not all of it, it seems. Too far. Wait a second. Uh, most likely, I think, yeah, it's just the roads, really. Yep, yeah, we'll be fine. I'm sure we can access this area in a little bit. I mean, over here as well. I know we talked about it a little bit, but... Perhaps here is when we push the train tracks through. Yeah, we'll have to navigate through the little maze that we have. And you could also go over there. If we wanted to have a slightly more direct link with the with the bathhouse district over here. Okay, so a bit of a surprise. It seems the bridges are already done. Which I thought might be the last thing they will get done. But no. It seems to be all good, so now we can start constructing this area up as well. I mean, unfortunately, yes, it is drought already, but at least we'll be ready for the next one. And I'm quite curious as well, just to see how far can we can we go from here. So I'm just going to change the priorities real quick. No, never mind. I think we do want to get this restaurant going, so one is online. There we go. That's uh, That's beautiful. Right, so you are going to need some resources, and that's uh, that's quite a few. Um, with the current train that we do have in here, I mean, how busy are you? It's quite a few resources that we are already sending. Alright, off you go. What are you bringing us now? Uh, sending dirt. Do we need to send it anywhere? No, but that's fine. Okay, everything is receiving... Hmm, maybe we can send a few extra things through. Let's have a look. We need bread, carrots, grilled potatoes, and paper. Interesting. So carrots might be the only one we might struggle with. Who knows? Let's have a look. Uh, actually, never mind. Stockpile is full and they're not gathering anymore. So, sure. Let's, um, let's have a look over here. 
bread, carrots, paper. Okay, and there was a fourth one as well, wasn't it? Oh yeah, quill potatoes, there we go. Right, we are not receiving, we are sending you. And this one as well. And the paper. Yeah, I don't think one train is going to be enough for this task over here. So that is definitely one of the future projects that we shall do. So you will be receiving all these resources. Okay, I think we have it on all in here. Now, of course, it's not going to be very efficient right now. But at least, you know what? It's, um, yeah, things are coming in. We'll start making a bit of food already as well. And now all we have to do is give me just a few seconds. I'm going to figure out the exact design that we do want to go with. All right, so I think we do have a bit of a design in mind. Okay, so in the middle, as we discussed before as well, we will have a bit of a very tiny courtyard with some water. I guess it's like a small stream, essentially, that finishes up in a pond. So I placed a few more dynamites as well. And the way we are going to get some water up here is just a water drop-off zone. Now, right now, we're not going to uh, detonate the dynamites just yet because there's still a few more terrain blocks that we do have to place I uh, can't get all the materials are you seeing no, I'm pretty sure we should have some more dirt right and you guys okay maybe it's slowed down a little bit but that's okay everything else here however what are you complaining about oh I see okay let's uh, fix this one up real quick as well you, unfortunately, are not very useful over there. Okay, one goes here. Because it's not passing through the front, I believe. And yeah, okay, so now it should flow through. And we'll pause you for a second. And these ones over here. Okay, so I think we needed some bread. Okay, probably obtain. So we fill it up all the time. Carrots and... Yep, let's do the same as well, and you will be potatoes, grilled potatoes. Okay, now whilst we were trying to figure the design out over here, what has happened is we've got access all the way through here. Right, so let's try and grab the district center again. Pause you for a second. Okay, is it saving? Yes, all right, quick auto save. There we go. So we can walk all the way where the stairs are right now. But we can still build a couple more things over here. So yeah, let's... Uh, I think it was somewhere here, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, we'll build you here for now. And we'll move you over just a little bit in the future again. Let's have a look in this zone as well. So it seems the levees are now complete. Okay. Uh, that's all done. Oh, wait a second. You don't look very done, do you? No. Okay, so one more. And uh, okay, so if the range is going to be a problem... I believe what we were going to plan for is the road to cut through here. Okay, that should be fine. And we'll place a couple of platforms here as well, so it's, yeah, it's all good. Now, there is a ton of trees, so to speed this uh, up a little bit, let's uh, cut them down. We can bring the road through and hopefully you will have range again. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see. I have a feeling we might have to maybe cut down a few trees over here, bring the road through, and then we can, yeah, get the last tree out from here as well and and do some levees. But other than that, it seems to be, yeah, pretty good. I mean, do we want to fill it up already? I guess it doesn't matter, so... Okay, here we go. I mean, we don't really have that much water here now, do we? Uh, actually, it's a quite a decent amount. Yeah, I guess it's a tiny little top up for the lake over here. But okay, so at least the lake is done and we'll be able to hold a little bit more water in the future. So we can call this one a success. Although, yeah, it's, it's a very minor project that we were doing there. Very simple. And over here as well, let's see if we can extend our reach just a little bit. Dams are already done, which is great to see. Now we do have this massive area and I wonder if we want to do anything with it but yeah it, it's okay let's uh, not focus on that just now. 
Over here, however, I think the water has dropped enough. So the way we are going to manage this in the future is if we detonate you real quick. Can they still walk through? Maybe. Okay, so what we would like to build over here is a couple of blood gates. And what we shall do is let's grab... Hmm. Yeah, let's grab this one over here. And what I'd like to say is, I'm not really sure if we want to place you over here and say, okay, if you detect water, then open the gates. Maybe that's exactly what we'll do. Alright, let's try this out. Or maybe we could just keep it simple. Let's place one over here as well and see which one works out the best. Because over here, what, what we can say is if it reaches, well, it's two levels high, isn't it? Yeah, so if it reaches like 199, it's time to open those gates and let some excess water through. Um, right, everything seems to be almost ready. So yes, we are going to do a distribution post over here as well, because we do have to pass those uh, food items over to our restaurant area. Okay, so you are... I believe it is all done. Okay, let's detonate this here real quick as well. We are going to need a water dump just like so. Okay, maybe a stream gauge as well. Alright, now platform. Let's do a side platform over here. Uh, okay, one. And I guess we are going to have to do the same on this side as well, which looks a little odd. But I think it's fine, right? You don't really need to go that side. Actually, yeah, it's fine. It's perfect because we do need this gate somewhere. All of these ones can be unbossed as well. We can have you constructed now. Uh, what is a bit more annoying though is I guess we are going to have to remove these roads just for a little bit. Because uh, if we do want to construct those roofs, yep, they're going to have to climb up a little bit and uh, now it should be all good. Okay, you should probably be built first. Here we go. And, uh, well, you look at that. It's already full. 120 in there. Uh, oh, right. We are going to have to make a route over here as well. Okay. Uh, not a problem. We do have a bit of space in here. I mean, initially I was thinking to place, like, a few more extra trees. But I think it is fine. You're not connected to any district over here. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Because no one's working here anyways. We can set you up real quick. Right, so where do we have bakery? Here's one. And just two more basic ones as well. And the last one is the grill. Okay, here we go. Everything's set up. I mean, uh, it's set to beavers right now. So we don't have any bots sitting around and doing nothing. Okay, gates are in, it seems. That's done. You need to go through. Oh, wait a second. Advanced. Attach the stream gauge. Uh, right, pause when above. It's only one deep, so let's do 180. Unpause when you are... <laughs> let's do five or six. So it always looks kind of full. Okay, quick side thing. We are going to try and get the power shafts done real quick. And if we bring the levels down, all right, I believe it is time to... Oh, you're not bossed. Okay, you've got all the resources ex except these ones. Well, that's fine, because I think you are now complete, right? So we do have two spare beavers or golems, or bots. Okay, here we go. And uh, what we can do, why don't you start taking some dirt over as well? Okay, let's make this a priority. No district. Oh, I see. Okay, fine. We have to connect you up just like so. Okay, cool. Now everything is built over here. Can remove this as well. You shall be done very soon. And we've lost those roads again. Okay, here you go. Everything is complete now. Where are you guys off to? Okay, so you're going to help us clean up a little bit, which is lovely. And now, here we go. So the food is already being delivered. However, we do also have to set you up, right? So you are all, which we don't need. Let's do bakery over here. And if you're bakery, let's do basic. We do have one more. 
And that's the grill. Okay, beautiful. Uh, right, can we get this done as well? Just need a few more logs, it seems. Alright, road goes over there. And I think we are almost complete. Alright, there we go. And we do have to give you a road as well. Beautiful. Now, the next thing we will probably do here as well. Let's place some, like, flowers and, and trees and things like that around this whole area. Just to make it a bit nicer, more welcoming. Alright, do we have a bit more space in here? Yes, we do. So maybe here we do a slightly different tree. Okay. That is looking very good already. Alright, a couple over there. Slightly different one here and... Alright. Okay, so one over there here. I think that's pretty pretty good already. Now, yes, we are going to have to find a place for the forester real quick as well. I mean, I guess we could also use this space over here. And we might just be able to get around this whole area. Yep, that seems to be like the most sensible place for it. Okay, here we go. We'll um, put a beaver in here, actually, because it's not a main and massive priority. But uh, that's definitely starting to look much nicer already. Yeah, resources are going over. Did you get the dirt as well? I hope you did. Because we should have quite a bit in now. Um, let's have a look, actually. Alright, that does not seem like the right level. And, okay, beautiful. And the power is now connected as well. So this is finally the first episode after... When did we build this again? I think it was like three episodes ago. But now they can actually use those mod paths over here. Which is wonderful. Alright, here we go. We've got a couple of visitors already. And everyone's... Uh, yeah, they're all coming over to get a bit of food. Now, something we do have to do here though. Is we should probably place a bench somewhere here as well. Uh, that doesn't look very safe, and I don't want to place you over here just yet, because we do need access over here. Hmm, I guess, yeah, we didn't leave a whole lot of space in here. Let's do one over there. So the floodgates have been completed as well. Unfortunately, they had access to both of them. Uh, right, so for you, because it's drought currently, what we shall do is let's just uh, leave you as closed. Yep, so in the next episode, once we notice that things are getting crazy again, we'll set up the automation and we'll test it out. So uh, I think, actually, I'm pretty surprised. We've managed to get everything done in this episode. We've got a bit of a failsafe over here, right? And uh, we have the mod paths now connected, and I think they're just constructing the last one. Yes, they are. Uh, tons of cattail as well. So probably, or maybe might want to increase the production of the crackers and uh, yeah so here's our restaurant area uh, with the forester that's not really gonna stay here for a very long time but they, they're just gonna place some trees and plants all around this area but i think it's starting to look pretty lovely yeah so everyone can go here now the only thing that i'm not really happy and i do want to change it around probably we'll do it in the next one as well it's just how we access this area over here. Like, these bridges are pretty pretty high. I, I want to drop them at the same height as the other ones as well. And, uh, yeah, so this one's done over here, the restaurant district. We'll try and pretty it up a little bit more. And uh, over here as well, that seems to be good. So all we really need now is just a little bit more water. And I think the beaver or the bot numbers are starting to go up now as well which is good but okay i think that's enough for this episode so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one